Hey guys, and welcome back to a new addition to the channel. Kerbal Space Program on the PS4, obviously and on the computer. Why? Because I haven't done, anyth done anything on a computer yet. But so let's get started. Obviously start new. No number one rule of starting a new game, or not starting a new game, starting a new series on YouTube. Don't use anything you've played before the channel. I mean, kind of obvious. This one will be named... Oh, I was named at the wrong channel. Prism Gaming, or Prism System. Yeah. I'm not going to do career career. <clears throat> oh wait, I did say career cor I did say career correct. Sandbox. Or it's not going to be career. So it's either going to be sandbox or science cuz career is not something you should do uh in a YouTube video or in a YouTube series cuz that's going to take forever to do anything. In sandbox mode and sandbox, I don't feel like there's anything we're aiming for, so I think we're gonna do science. Change flag. I know this might be be offensive, but I think I found the French flag. If you got my joke. Okay, I'll well, reverting this way. Auto hire? Yep. Indestructible facilities? No. I'm obviously going to be blowing up facilities. I kind of have a baby when it comes to re entry, so I've got to turn that to 15. And then obviously turn this up. It's like you hit a tech. You hit a science wall at some point, and I don't want that to happen. Enable Kerbal experience. With this setting off all... With this setting off all last night. I'll enable experience. Apply your experience points immediately instead of on recovery. I love negative fun science. Part pressure, part G force limits. Yes. I don't understand a situation where I'd be- Oh yeah, right, uh, one of the planets has high pressure. Resource array. Car signal for control. Got the blackout. Okay, that looks good. Probably wasted quite a bit of time in the video, but I'm sure it's fine. So let's start. Okay, there we go. This been a long and awkward science. Science. Yes, the science was long and aw awkward. <laughs> okay, but either way, we're back in the game. I didn't realize you could actually move your camera before. I mean, I knew you could, like, move it around like this, but I didn't know you could actually move it around like this. Can I go look at the other side of the planet? I think I actually can. I don't think I can look up, though. I'm not sure why that's so fascinating to me. I just didn't know that happened before. But so let's start by launching our first rocket. Oh, my stopwatch said I've been playing for one minute and I thought it said I was playing for one hour. <laughs> I was just about to say that thing was very off. This is like 
the only rocket design I can build right now. Like, the only vari choice of, or variation I have is how many tail fins I'm gonna put on this thing. Science, Mr. Goo. Oh, I don't need, maybe like two, but not. Ah, dang it, what just happened? Oh, I accidentally click select apps. Okay, that's good. Ooh, I actually came up with an with an idea for a design. Oh, that is way, that's too big for the ship to slide, ship to structure comparison. And you will be named. Actually, don't. Path. Tick. Is pathetic spelled with an I right there? Pathetic. Path. Pad. Tick. Pathetic. Bottle rocket. I know it's not actually a bottle rocket, but it's so weak it might as well be. Launch. Man, these dark loading screens. Uh, make sure you turn the SAS on. SAS makes it so my ship doesn't, uh, it's basically just uh, auto assist or stability assist. Yeah, it says it right there. Ah, dang it, I forgot to change the stations so my parachute and uh, rockets don't fire at the same time. Well, let's go. Oh, uh, that's not good, but ship's sort of leaning. Full power! Eh, gotta make sure I take the mystery goo. 63 science. And if I decide to transmit it now, that's gonna be absolutely no science. That's gonna be 23 science. Oh, I'm actually still going up. The goo jibbles and wobbles. Or it said jiggles and wobbles, not jibbles and wobbles. Jibble should be a new word. Oh, this thing has definitely has some aerial control. Wee! You know, this is actually the first spacecraft I put some I put fins on. It's probably why it feels so much more controllable. And probably because these are fins on such a small aircraft. Activate parachute. Are they working? I mean, I'm sort of slowing down, but not like the parachute is actually helping slowing down. More like an air resistance slowing down. Eh, you gonna... Yeah, slow down. Yay! Okay, since the aircraft falls so slow, I'm just gonna speed this up real quick. Yay! Nothing blew up. Unlike my first launch in this game, <laughs> which was actually in sandbox mode, and I built the biggest rocket I could and that was a mistake because the game was so laggy like it killed itself before it could even get out of the first or first part of the atmosphere like it was just a disaster oh where the extra f uh, 45 oh I got 45 science from the vessel that survived and I got 1 XP okay <clears throat> Research and R&D. How hard can rocket science be anyway? How hard can aerospace engineering be? I don't think it's a choice. I think I can get both of them. Uh, 
Now here's where I need to start making choices. So I could get batteries and a probe. This looks like stuff you would use on a satellite. Or I can get avi aerial control or aviation. I don't want planes right now. Or advanced rocketry. I think I'll get basic science. I'll tell them to lead on to... Wait, did I already get the... Uh, Oh yeah, I already got uh, side-mounted parachutes. Okay, that's good. Now I can build bigger crafts and still have it not blow up. <clears throat> I could also build a probe. You know, I think it's a dummy. <laughs> I wonder how well it would actually work to have a probe on the top of a craft like this. I wonder if it would actually improve anything or just weigh it down more. Okay, a pathetic bottle rocket. Oh, I need to name it pathetic bottle rocket. One. Because we're going to be making more, more pathetic bottle rockets. Save. New craft. Of course, I have to use the same thing, because to be honest, I don't see the point in using a probe unless you're going out of the atmosphere. Because chances are, this is probably going to go out of the atmosphere and then just fall straight back down. Wait, did I research the couplers? Oh, I did. So I had the, cup the, the couplers, the couplers too. Okay, let's get... Okay. No. Okay, let's get some fuel tanks in here. Let's look, let's look at their thrust fuel consumption ratio. <clears throat> that Oh, I actually forgot these things produce electricity. Okay, this one has consumed six liquid fuel per second and seven X energy, and that's the weak one. This one consumes I say it's a good trade-off. An extra 44 is for like an extra one liquid fuel per second. That's not too bad. And then... The couplers. Ah, uh, no, don't, don't do, don't go there. Oh, apparently this is actually the front, because that's where the hatch is. Uh, where's the thing I'm on? Oh yeah, it's going to be in thrusters. Oh yeah, sort of starting to look like an actual rocket. Bam, and there we- oh wait, I still need to put the parachutes on. Maybe if I were to be like SpaceX and put like a probe on these so I can bring them down controllably, but that- the only probe I have is, uh, actually would that be too bad to put probes on this thing? No, that would be like very unresi unresistant to the air. So everything's like, oh, I still need, I still need more parachutes since this thing is slightly heavier, so it's gonna need something to slow its fall. Also, I have more scientific gear to put on it. Hey, where can I put this? Just put it next to the parachute. And the thermometer. I don't even get the point of this thing. And that. Oh, I could actually stick this thing on it. 
Bam. I type for the tail fin that I never use. Because apparently it helps me control the planes, so, or not plane, rockets so much before. And I'm sort of slicing through my scientific gear, but, uh, or science gear, but uh, it's fine. Let it, let's call you less pathetic bottle rocket. Actually, let's just call you strong bottle rocket because I have good feelings about this one. Strong bottle rocket one. Launch. My eye, that uh, got something in my eye. Perfect time. Once the loading screen's off, it just shows something in uh, Prism Gaming's eye. Okay. What's a launch? Full power. No, just kidding. That drains fuel really quickly. Maybe I'll do full power when they're about to die, but not when they're uh, still have a good amount of fuel. Unless I'm trying to get to orbit really quickly. I can't tell, is it tilting or is it not tilting? Oh no, it's not tilting. Just, just click it a few times. Okay, it says my parachutes are unable to work at the moment, but... But obviously I'm not going to be using my parachutes when I'm going up. Lock pressure there. Lock thermometer data. Observe mystery goo that currently has the wing going through it. The gear seems to be getting very cold right now. I mean, obviously, we're going into space. Keep experiment. I'm gonna do this one when we get into space, so I so it's a counts as a different experiment. Okay. Science for all. The goo seems to be clumped into a sphere. It also se seems to have become brittle. Maybe I'll rerun this so it counts as. Yeah! Science! Bye bye! Uh. My voice sounded really annoying to me at that. Sounded really annoying to me at that second. Or at moment. Or any word that goes towards that specific time. Spinning. So I've done all the scientific experiment. Scientific. Scientific experiments. And I didn't even get to use my uh, thrusters. Hey, maybe I can do it like I'm landing on another planet and use my thrusters to land without doing a parachute. But to be honest, I don't want to risk that and, you know, the crap sort of flips over to do that. Yeah, that failed horribly. 
And it was going so well. It's just for some reason the parachutes decided they didn't want to work. Like you're only going 200 meters per second. That usually is slow enough for the parachutes to activate. And I hate how this thing doesn't decide to revert the launch or revert the flight until I go to press the revert to uh, assembly thing button. Radio mount parachutes, everybody's favorite. Oh wait, I gotta make sure I put two of these on one side isn't isn't doing stoof. What? No, that's not what I wanted to do. Bam. There, and now so I don't have to fix the settings mid-flight. Launch. No, I probably could use that last day to orbit the planet, but thing is, I'm not trying to make a satellite. I'm just trying to get uh, science. I don't think I've ac ever actually taken the science observations on the grounds. Eh, so far in this video. Launch. Hey Jeb. Hey, uh, you wanna you wanna do a quick EVA? I'm sure you won't get flung off the spaceship. Also, the spaceship seems to be a bit wobbly right now. I can't tell if that's the camera being wobbly or the spaceship being wobbly. Uh, that's not an angle that I can see anything, game. <laughs> The thing I hate about the auto camera angle is you can't actually, anytime something happens to your spacecraft, it just throws you into an angle where you can't see anything. Oh wait, no, why did I go free? Yeah, there's what I wanted. Now time to take my other science experiments. Is this the side I didn't do or is the side I did do? That's the side I didn't do. Okay, just give me the space real quick so I can take these science. Take this science. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Do 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 do. Oh my gosh, why does this thing not want me to click on the spaceship? Observe mystery goo. It seems to have clumped and become brittle. Thank you for the science. The instruments read zero, as if we're in a vacuum. Oh, because we're totally not in a vacuum. Quick did it. Okay, that one didn't have anything special to say. Oh, I actually forgot I had the science lab junior. Microgravity has gravity <coughs> microgravity has gravity affected the growth of crystalline structures. Loose objects are also flying around in the bay in a very messy but fascinating way. Keep experiment. Maybe if I wanted to go anti to my trajectory or the opposite di direction of my trajectory, 
I can make myself slow down. Or fall faster, I mean. <laughs> Yay, we're falling back down. Oh wait, I have to deal with a quick staging problem real quick. Oh my gosh. This dang game. I can never activate my parachutes. Uh, I've never had this problem before. Okay. Oh wait, I didn't have SAS on. Maybe I'll just try a regular science experiment. It's probably because I'm landing so high up in the mountains. The rarefied air seems like it has something to the GL samples. Okay. Collected atmospheric data. Collected temperature data. That's a parachute. Don't want to activate that in upper orbit. Or in upper atmosphere. It's, I'm not in orbit yet. Uh, you wanna... You wanna just shift to the side there? Yep. Oh wait, no. The goose seems to have become brittle. And you would be right about that. I mean, hopefully you are. You're the scientist. I mean, would you really need to be a scientist to s to see that something's brittle? I mean, I guess it sort of depends on the object. Because, like, maybe something can look strong on the surface, but it's actually really brittle? I don't know. Okay, where am I landing? Hopefully it's not in the mountains again. Okay, good. This time it's in the ocean. Okay, all my science gear has been scienced. It's the so the two middle ones go here. Maybe this might help. Or maybe not. Yay! It actually worked! Okay.
Okay, Jebediah was about to reach the G limit that his brain could take before his brain turned into mashed potatoes. Activate that again, and then activate uh, time, speed. Oh my gosh, this thing is falling at like no speed. I guess it's the big parachutes are activated, I can cut these now. Cut. Cut. And the thing is, this is at four times speed that I'm falling at, and this is still taking forever. No, I don't want to select the stupid crew hatch, I want to select the parachute. Cut. Yay, I did it! Okay, now let's just turn down the time and recover the ship. Recover vessel! Yeah, look at all that science. Oh my gosh, I have 700. How did you get no XP from that? Y you went to orbit and you somehow not got no XP. Oh yeah, I'm looking for the science lab. I'm not sure how I forgot that. Moho. So this just tells me about the information I got. Back to the science lab. I know it, not the archives, the science lab. So I have general rocketry, stability. Where do I get that one propulsion system where it's like, or not, precision uh, RCS system where it's like, it's, th I actually forgot the name of it. I mean, I guess it's probably in one of these things. Okay, let's move to heavy rockets, rockety, rocketry. Bigger fuel tanks. And then, I don't really, are you kidding me? I'm like for sure of another thing. But that's gonna do it for this episode. If you liked the video, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.